The export feature can be handy if you want to generate another format from an existing DCP. In order to export something, we have to open a DCP. So I click on the Open DCP label, which opens a file chooser. Click the Choose button and the composition dialog appears. As you can see, we have one composition with one reel containing image and sound files. You might already know that you can now play back the DCP or you can use the timeline to browse to certain frames. But in order to export this sequence, you have to raise the context menu by clicking on the right mouse button. Now browse to menu entry, export current asset. This brings up the exporter. And the first thing I have to decide is where I want to export my sequence to. So I open the file dialog and browse to a folder on my desktop. Basically, I have two different options to export an asset. I can unwrap the whole DCP and create an easy DCP project file. But in this example, I want to export a certain part of a sequence. So I have to decide whether I want to export the whole sequence or I just select a certain part of the existing sequence. And in this example, I go from 0 to frame 1000. There are a couple of options in the video section. First of all, I can change the resolution level. These are all file sizes that are stored in the JPEG 1000 files. I have different file formats, including DPX and TIFF image sequences, QuickTime and JPEG 2000, and in this example, I stay with QuickTime. There are many video codecs installed on this machine. This can look different on your machine. It shows all the QuickTime components that are installed. Since I want to generate an H.264 video, I stay with H.264. The video bitrate is fine, and then I select a color transformation, since a DCP is in XYZ color space, I choose XYZ to linear RGB. Stay with the chroma subsampling and the color depth. I can select a file name prefix and in the audio section I can decide whether I want to export multi-channel waves, split-channel waves or again stay with QuickTime. And at the end of my selection I just press the export button. You might want to know how fast the export is, but this, again, depends pretty much on the hardware you are using. And it also depends on the codec you are using. So, for example, if this H.264 codec is slow, then the whole export process can be very slow. At the end of the exporting process, you can open the destination folder. And as you can see, we have a perfect QuickTime file and we can preview the QuickTime file in the preview window or we can open the QuickTime player. We can use the QuickTime file in Final Cut and in any other QuickTime hosting application available. Please consider this as a small exporting example. There is more to discover.